Graphing. We are ne nearing the end of our graphing unit, and um, hopefully you've become experts on how to graph a line, graph an equation, graph a relation, whatever you want to call them, uh, via paper or spreadsheet. I'm going to show you a cute little graphing trick. Now this trick, or tricks, these tricks that I'm going to show you, allow you to graph a line without having to make that pesky table of values. Check this out. I'm not going to teach you how to do it. I'm just going to show you how I do it. It's going to kind of mumble to myself and you can see how I do it and then let's see if, let's see if you can figure out what the trick is. What is the little trick that I'm doing to figure out how to graph these lines just by looking at it and then boom drawing this straight line. Let's take a look at this one here first y equals x plus 2. Looks like this. Done. That is y equals x plus 2. Faster than you, eh? I know. Didn't even need a table of values. Didn't have to sub anything. There we go. I'll give you a hint with this, these tricks. Every single line that we've, or every single graph that we've drawn so far, you should have noticed, has been a straight line. So every single graph that we do will be a straight line. So that's the only trick. I, that's the only hint I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you. Okay, here's number two. Ready? You can tell me how long it takes. And I'm gonna take my sweet time too. Ready? Set. Go. <laughs> Done. There she is. There is y equals x plus 2, and there is y equals negative x plus 2. Any ideas what the trick is? No? Let's do two more. Let's say if I did. these guys here. So we'll go to 3. Y equals 2x minus 3. Ready? Set. Go. Done. There is y equals 2x minus 3. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to do y equals negative 2x minus 3. Ready, set, go. Done. That is y equals negative 2x minus 3. <laughs> you see anything yet? You think so? Okay, okay. Let me do a few more examples here. Let's see if you can follow along. Magical. The time it took me to do those four you would be probably still using your ruler drawing out your little table of values and stuff like that. I do it lightning fast. Okay, here's uh, question uh, five and six. Again, you don't really need to be writing anything down. Just watch. If you think you need to write something down, go right ahead, but don't really need to. Y equals negative x plus two, and y equals negative x minus two. All right, here we go. Ready, set. They already do this one. Whatever. Even if I did, who cares? Ready, set, go. <laughs> Boom. Done. There it is. Y equals negative x plus two. 
I'm going to do y equals negative x minus 2. Ready? Set. Go. Boom. Done. And the lines are kind of a little bit off, but more or less that is the line right there. You got it? You feel it? Feeling stronger about it? If not, here's some more examples. Let's see if you can figure out the trick. Quick. Um, that was uh, six, this would be seven and eight. Uh, let's try. y equals negative 2x plus 3 and y equals negative 2x minus 3. This one here first. Ready, set, go. Boom. that line. Let me do the line over again. But there are the dots. Whatever. There's the line. Okay, so didn't use a ruler. That's what the line looks like for y equals negative 2x plus 3. Alright, what about y equals negative 2x minus 3. Ready, set, go. Do you feel something yet? No? Okay, I'll give you a few more. Okay, how about if I had this? Uh, what is this, like uh, 9 and 10? Example 9, example 10. y equals e over 4x plus 4. <clears throat> and then y equals 3x. There's some goofy looking guys here. Let's see how we, they look on the graph. For this, this one here. Ready, set, go. Done, even though the line wasn't perfect. That one there. Y equals 3x. Ready, set, go. Done. There it is. Do you see it? Okay. Think about that. Rewind the tape if you have to, the video if you have to, and here's your skill testing questions. Your skill testing questions are What's the trick? Or what's the tricks? What's the tricks? Or English or whatever. So explain it to me using these two 
equations as examples. So that one and y equals negative x plus 3. Use these two equations as um, your explanations when you come up to me and explain what the trick is. That's it. That's your scholastic question. Trust me, when you figure this out, it will make your life a whole lot easier. Say goodbye to the table of values. Talk to you later. Bye.